Pearson? The big man! How are you doing? Excellent. Okay. You awake yet? I'm Marston. sleeping, Arthur. You can just sit, you know. Any leads? I'm working on something. Good. Well, let me know. All right, I need then. To sleep, Arthur. Hey, Javier. Hello, Arthur. You ever miss home? Sure. All the time. Must be hard, being so far away. All right, Arthur. All right. Jose? Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Uh, Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh... You join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Bronte. <laughs> come, come. We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Too. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. <laughs> so, this is Sandini High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, <laughs> Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzar. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crowley, a, a Confederate major in the war, and a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. 
I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no? <laughs> they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> uh, these vulgar people, they hate me. Non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire. Well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. <laughs> Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well, we, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. Si. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy and welcome once again to Santa Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Evening. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out if old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Is Kilgore. Hello, Mr. Kilgore. <laughs> no, what is it that uh, that you do? I'm uh, I'm an adventurer. Oh, me too. Pursuer of the exotic and the remarkable, an esteem in this land of commonplace heathens. My card, sir. From Quebec into the U.S. and. Who do you bank with? Pay me a visit in my atelier. I must just go and purge. I intend to stay thin until I pass away. Good evening. Have you considered Lemoyne a national bank? Oh, thank you again, my fellow adventurer. And please do pay me a visit at my atelier. I'll try to. a lot of cash. Some nervous. Can I interest you in a glass of champagne? It's in a bad year. 
We handle more cash and cash equivalents than any bank in South Manhattan, including St. Louis. Good evening. Hello, gentlemen. Hello. Can I help you, sir? Well, I'm not quite sure yet. Evening, gentlemen. Bonjour, Hello. How was the show? Why did you win? Sure. <laughs> Hello, mister. Oh, very well, but my daughter could do better. Oh, you're not such a Philistine as Would you like some champagne? Of course. Thank you, sir. You are quite the gentleman. Clearly not from this swampy hellhole. Thank home. you. Thank you. Ladies, I'll see you next week. <laughs> Evening, folks. Sir, how are you all doing? How do you do, ma'am? You're walking away from me. I used to be a great beauty. And an even greater wit. Time. What a total bastard it is, huh? Then again, I always loved bastards. Evening, all. The real ones. Hi there, sir. This is the time on the man, man here, uh, Mr. Jameson. Mm. Oh, I don't live here. I was here for the poker. Oh, you play? Oh, it's, a, it's my weakness, my worst vice. Perhaps you should have it whipped out of you like you advocate whipping the sin out of others. <laughs> <laughs> Not whipping, sir, working, and besides, my vice is between me and my maker. I keep winning. Every gambler says that, Mr. Jameson. <laughs> yes, Even, I folks. know, but like I How said, the next big doing? tournament, which I will oh, not be attending, is How's for a game too rich it's for my blood. As it were. I may Good. be amazed, All the best but I'm sensible. Goodbye now. Is that so? Oh, sure, right. Not a wealthy man. I run a prison. The old riverboat tournaments are for car sharks and rich fools. A really big stakes game attracts oil men and such, like, from all over. We even exist. We exist. And what do you think, sir? I think war is a fine way of thinning the herd. <laughs> exactly. This man is a realist. I cannot believe I am hearing this. Excuse me. Well, at my prison, we are doing the best to remedy. Sometimes, sir, the innocent are the damned. Enjoy your evening. I must go see my wife. How do you do? Good evening. We will endure the same here in all of this. All of these garden parties and civility, they will be due. Uh, hello, sir. Civilizing the masses, sir. But the first order of civilization is order. Law and order. I agree. Without law and order, we will have anarchy. But with too much law and order, won't we have dictatorship or worse? <laughs> Monarchy. The law should be a dictator. But I apologize for that woman's... Of course, I'm sure. Liberty under the Business and romance. And you're romantic. Ah, oh, you must talk with. Always have been. A true romantic. A dreamer. Why don't you let me show you someday? And you think my cousin would appreciate that demonstration? The vulgar toad of a man. A cold woman. I'm... A very lonely man. And I am more than someone's blanket against the night's chill. Good evening, Mr. Hawksbill. Please stop pestering me. Glad. How are you doing? I'm talking. Have you ever married the wrong woman, sir? No. But I ain't married the right one either. <laughs> well, 